this isn't clickbait and there's no affiliate link for me to make money out of you for watching. There's real scientific evidence behind this, which I'll happily show you. And you really can get clinical level, clinic level results at home by spending around kind of $10 or so. The medical industry, the cosmetic medical industry will want you to believe that it's not possible so that you'll then pay extortion amounts in a clinic. But I'd rather tell you the truth. I'll be showing you the protocol, the scientific papers to prove the efficacy, uh, the reason it works, the technique, what to put on your skin after, and risks of doing it as well. Now, the basic premise of this is to understand that a derma roller, when used correctly, can genuinely be the strongest home anti-aging device out there, which you can do yourself. I know some of you won't believe me because it's quite cheap, right? But that's the industry's marketing, making you think that the biggest results come from the biggest prices. That's not true. And you know, I'll put the scientific papers quote on screen for you to see. You know, how can it be true? Your cells don't respond to how much money you, sp you spend. They respond to biological and chemical and physical processes, regardless of whether you paid one pound or a million pounds. There's no money in derma rollers compared to other things because the patent for them is freely usable by anyone. You know, no wonder manufacturers tell you that you need something expensive instead because they can make more money out of that. So here we go. First thing you'll need, obviously, is a derma roller. You can pick one of these up on Amazon for around $10 or £10, depending on where you are in the world. Now, as a generalization, one millimeter is the depth that's been studied in this context. It doesn't mean that every single one of you should start with that, but I can't give personalized advice to each of you from a single video. When I see patients in person, I assess their skin and choose the depth based on that. Sometimes I, I might actually start with just 0.2 mil. Other times I might go straight to one mil. Um, if you choose too low a depth, then it doesn't really do anything in terms of causing responses in the skin. Uh, some patients of mine over the years have said, oh, I'll start small and work up. Well, if you start low, you're not actually working anything at that point. There are structures in the skin that lie in particular depths and you either target them or you don't. If you get close, but not quite there, then there's still zero effects. It doesn't work like a dial where you, you gradually turn it up to switch that's either pressed or not pressed. If you want to work up in terms of tolerating the needles and accept the lack of effect until you get the right depth, then that's fine. Now, for example, uh, if someone wants me to target a particular cell type that's say 0.75 mil deep, and they say they want me to start at 0.2 for comfort, then they're wasting their time because the cell types in question aren't at 0.2 depth, are they? So nothing's gonna happen if you're in the wrong depth. Equally, I know some of you will be thinking, I'm gonna go even deeper and do 1.5 or 2 or 2.5 or 3 mil. Don't do this, <laughs> trust me. There are indications for going beyond one mil and you guys doing your, this yourselves at home is not one of them. You can actually cause your skin to get worse if you do that. For example, you know, a famous paper oust 2008 showed that even if you needle deeper, you don't produce collagen any deeper than around say half a mil anyway. Think about it, you'll have fat if you go deeper. Needling the fat doesn't make it turn into collagen, does it? It's still gonna be fat afterwards. So calm down and don't be stupid by going to ridiculous depths. There's such a thing as too shallow and also too deep. Uh, more frequent needling doesn't mean better either. You know, when you go into the skin and cause a cascade of events to occur, doing it again before that cascade has had a chance to heal and grow is detrimental to you. You don't go to the gym every four hours, do you, right? You, you cause the damage that you need, then you recover, then you grow, and then you hit the gym again once you've grown and are able to take the same process again. Needling is the same, so stick to just once per week for this protocol, no more. I promise you once a week is enough, and I'm gonna show you the scientific paper on screen now, which proved this. It's a very famous paper by uh, Zyter 2014. Might have butchered the name, sorry. Uh, it showed that the protocol of once a week at one millimeter with a particular product afterwards increased the th thickness of the skin by multiple times what it was before. Uh, they did four weeks in the study, but I've regularly done six weeks in a row for patients, and it's been fantastic. Yeah, and that's not a coincidence. However, it does need careful technique. 
uh, careful with product selection. And as I've already said, not being stupid with depth and frequency. Um, I, I really can't emphasize not going overboard with depth and frequency enough, by the way. So please don't do it. There's, there's no benefit. Um, now, how about the technique? Well, I'll show you a video of my Derma Roller here. Um, it was about eight pounds from Amazon, titanium needles. Um, get a new one every two months or so, which equates to eight uses because the needles can blunt over time. Now you just take it like this and simply roll it everywhere like this. Um, your non-rolling hand needs to be stretching the skin so the needles can penetrate easily. Uh, the more stretched the skin is, the more accurate your penetration of uh, your, more, more accurate your penetration depth of the needles is. If your skin is loose, then you won't be penetrating. You'll just be pushing the skin around, right? Um, it doesn't matter which direction you go either because the skin has no idea where the needles come from, obviously. Um, don't hold it like this and put too much force in it. Um, just keeping it within your fingers like a paintbrush you're doing strokes with is enough. You don't get more of a result from doing it with more force, so <laughs> calm down. When it comes to the eyes, uh, one millimeter is gonna be too much for the vast majority of people. So keep the penetration depth down. Uh, use another roller that's maybe 0.25 millimeters roughly, and then simply pull the skin down so it's stretched, and then use a semicircle motion like this, where you're again using the roller like a paintbrush. Um, now, how long do you do this for? If you have the time, you can do a good like five to 10 minutes, and that's absolutely fine. If you get to a point um, where you're quite red long before that, when it's your first time, then just stop when you go red, okay? Eventually you'll get to a point where it takes longer and longer to go red. At that point, just keep to five to 10 minutes. If you bleed, you, you don't need to go much further, to be honest. The goal isn't to draw lo loads of blood, it's simply to go a bit red. Um, when you first do this, it'll be very sensitive, but you'll notice that each week it becomes more and more comfortable because your skin is gonna get thicker and thicker each time. Now, why does this work? Because it's like the damage you cause your muscles in the gym, right? They have tiny tears, but in such a small scale that the body can easily adapt itself to them. If you cause huge amounts of damage to the muscle, then you just become weaker. The principles behind what we're doing here is the same. We're causing damage on such a small scale that it acts as stimulation for the skin to grow. Now, what do you apply to the skin after a needle? Well, you don't technically have to use anything because it's the mechanical stimulation that's important. A paper in 2014, I think, showed someone getting a granuloma, I think, uh, after using a vitamin C product post-needling. Now, I think there's criticisms of the conclusion people get from this paper, but that's for another day. My personal opinion is that if we have the punctures in the skin now and they're gonna last probably around 12 minutes, uh, then why not uh, take advantage of that? You know, that's, that's what happened in this 2014 study. They used a product uh, that sadly isn't on sale anymore as far as I'm aware. Uh, however, I usually prescribe for my patients their skincare anyway, so I just suggest that they just use their standard tretinoin or differin or, you know, it's a way to get a lot of vitamin A into the skin. Alternatively, something with good levels of, of say, niacinamide would be fantastic too. The next time I do it, I'll probably mix my differin with niacinamide powder from The Ordinary. So I have good amounts of both vitamin A and B3 together. Now, when I treat my patients uh, in London here for needling, I only ever do it once. Why is that when every clinic in the world sells microneedling packages of six or 10 or 12 sessions or something? Because they use pneumatic pens that puncture the skin thousands of times, which I'm against. There's risks of overneedling there, which you simply can't get from a roller. The industry wants you to believe that that's the best device out there. There's pneumatic pens and how convenient is it that they can simultaneously make thousands selling those devices at the same time? Um, it's a complete scam in my opinion. The evidence is out there as I've already shown you that even just a roller can multiply the skin thickness several fold. What extra benefit is there in using a pneumatic pen beyond making money for the industry? Uh, I treat my patients once only as I said because when I do it for them once, I figure out the best way to needle for that individual patient's skin. They watch me the entire time as I'm doing it, and then they are armed with the knowledge to provide their own needling for the rest of their lives for free. So my needling price is very high, um, I won't lie, but I'm massively cheaper than everywhere else because I only do it once, and the patient then has decades of treatment rather than just a few months that they have to keep going back for and paying each time. 
for the non-believers of rollers over pens. Okay, that's for another video, and I won't get into that debate now. Uh, this will go on forever, but I'll, you know, I'll put it this way. The guy that literally invented needling uses rollers too after all this time instead of pens. And he and I were actually uh, in the midst of possibly doing a study together uh, where we prove a roller can get you the same result. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we couldn't carry on, but the evidence is possible to collate. Now, what about the risks? Well, if you're sensible, they're limited. Uh, the first time you do it, it's going to be very, very sensitive, and you'll probably end up putting less pressure into it, which will mean less than full penetration. That's okay. You can work your way up to full treatment soon enough. You're also going to be quite sensitive to the sun, so please make sure you wear your sun cream. The needles are prone to getting bacteria on, so after each use, either stick them in boiling water or spray some isopropyl alcohol onto them to disinfect them before you use it again. Uh, keep the skin clean before you start so you don't push you know, harmful things deep into the skin. Um, don't do this if you've got strong pigmentation because you could end up causing the pigment to drop further into the skin and make it even deeper. Uh, don't do it if you have acne because you might end up spreading the acne related bacteria around the face and spread the acne itself potentially. Um, ideally have a consultation to check everything's okay first and even better get someone like myself to do it for you the first time in the way that's best for you uh, as an individual and then just copy that at home. Uh, you know, unfortunately, um, I've never seen a single clinician in the entire world work this way where they show you how to look after yourself instead of charging you for them to do it every time. I'm sure you can guess why too. Uh, my website's in the description below if you want me to do it for you for the first time. Uh, I usually provide treatment in, in London. Now, this entire video was off the top of my head, as you can probably tell from the mistakes I made while speaking. I'm sure there's plenty of questions you guys have, and this isn't designed to show you the subject in its absolute entirety. That video would be multiple hours long. However, please comment below if you've got any questions at all.